Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Welcome, welcome warriors. I am really excited to have a little bit of time to release this prophetic word and just, just speak over you tonight what the Lord has been pouring into me and revealing to me by the Holy Spirit. So I'm really excited to release this to you guys. Um, this is so powerful. This is just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to prophesy over you and um, just be on for a short time. But um, I want you to know that today has just been a day of just weeping and interceding for families, interceding for households, just really just postured in the presence of the Lord, just interceding for families and just the move of the Lord, the move of the Holy Spirit, the Father's hand doing a deep work in households and families. And so today has just been really uh, very precious. I've just been in a, a place of intercession for family. And um, I want to tell you, I was uh, on the phone with a, an awesome warrior and it was really beautiful what the Lord was doing, just encouraging this awesome warrior and and um, breaking bread over the phone. Um, after I got off the phone, I saw a beautiful vision and the Lord was moving on my heart to just decree this over you tonight. So wherever you are, I just want to celebrate you and bless you. Whatever nation you're from, I just want to bless you. And if you're in the U.S., I know it's really late. It's after 11 p.m. So, uh, <laughs> but listen, I want to I want to release this uh, beautiful word of the Lord over you and uh, I'm just gonna wait a few minutes just to give everybody an opportunity to jump on hi Donna hi Paige hi Angela Christopher Yolanda welcome welcome hi Kristen thank you Jesus so uh, right now there's just such an incredible atmosphere of intimacy such an incredible atmosphere of intimacy and I can see the father the heart of the Father, the stature of the Father, how He's stepping in to our fields in this season. And the Father is very focused on doing something specific. And I want to tell you what I heard the Lord say to me. He said, I am fertilizing. I am fertilizing your field in this season. And I could see the Father literally stepping onto fields and they are his fields everything belongs to the father and so I could see the father stepping into fields your fields and I could see him fertilizing these fields and he said this is called the father's fertilizer and so I could see the father fertilizing fields it was so beautiful very intimate and just, just precious just very precious and the Lord took me to these two specific scriptures and I'm gonna release this to you and um, the first scripture is is Leviticus chapter 26 verse 4 and the Lord is speaking and it's the father and he says I will send you rain in its season and the ground will yield its crops and the trees their fruit and this is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 4. And Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 14. The Father speaks. Then I will send rain on your land in its season, both autumn and spring rains, so that you may gather in your grain new wine and olive oil. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So what I want to just speak over you is those two scriptures and um and what and i, I just really want to speak on what the lord is saying right now 
He's talking about He's talking about our foundation. He's talking about our root system. Uh, there's a lot the Lord is, is speaking about in this season. And I want you to hear this because this is such a beautiful vision of the Father. If you could just see the Father walking through your field and literally sprinkling fertilizer, just fertilizing your field. And I want to talk about fertilizer right now. This is really, just really so sacred from the Father's heart tonight. Fertilizer is, it says, it's a chemical or natural substance added to soil or land to increase, to increase its fertility. Glory to God. Fertilizer is known as a chemical or natural substance added to the soil or land to increase its fertility. And fertility is all about birthing life, bringing forth life, bringing forth life, bringing forth the fruit and the substance of the Father, the substance of His kingdom, glory. And here is, is what's so beautiful. And I saw this and He told me to take an image of this. And I saw a bag and it's fertilizer and it's called all purpose, all purpose, because God reveals his purpose. He reveals his purpose. He reveals his plan when he begins to go deep in the roots, when he begins to do a deep work in the soil of your heart. So he shows me all purpose fertilizer and fertilizer promotes green leaves, strong roots, and branches glory to God so the Lord is saying he's saying that he's fertilizing your field in the season to cause your everything to be fruitful he says to cause you to have strong roots and he says listen to this strong roots and branches and when he's talking about branches Jesus says I am the vine you are the branches but what God is also talking about is branches as in like military branches as in being a warrior a forerunner on the front line on the battlefield and God is saying that he's fertilizing your field in this season to give you strong roots and branches so that you will branch out you will know what branch you're a part of where you are standing on the battlefield, what your specific assignment and your purpose is. Woo! Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. So listen, this is such a beautiful, sacred season right now as Abba Father is stepping onto your field. And he says, I'm going to send my reign. And he's talking about his reign. He's talking about his kingdom authority. And he's talking about what the substance of heaven that causes our soil to be fertile, to be fertile ground. He knows what it, what it takes to, to take our soil and make it fertile, to make it fertile, to produce the fruit and the substance of his kingdom. So in this season, this is what God is saying. This is what he's saying to you. And he's saying it's the natural substance. It's the natural substance. See, in the world, there's always something going on where they use these products that are not good. These things that are not good for the soil. And God is speaking about fertilizer. And he's talking about, about the areas where a religious spirit wanted to fertilize your soil but it was not good. It's like these chemicals and pesticides that are no good for the soil, that are no good. Farmers aren't to use this kind of stuff. They need to use a natural substance that is organic, that is natural, that is pure. And so the Spirit of God is saying, He's going into your field and every place where the soil has been so depleted and it's been, it's been toxic 
from all these chemicals, these additives, these things that have come out of a religious spirit, out of a legalistic structure. God is removing it and he's coming to cause his fertilizer, the father's fertilizer, to literally uh, cause your soil to be replenished to be to be nourished to to receive its nutrients and the substance of heaven that needs to cause the soil to become rich so it becomes fertile ground that it produces a harvest from heaven Woo! so this is what i wanted to come on and quickly prophesy to you that i saw this today i saw the father our abba father walking into our fields and and releasing the father's fertilizer over the soil and that soil is going to have is going to cause your roots to be strong in the lord strong in the lord and it's going to cause branches to come forth you're going to recognize the branch literally that military branch that you are assigned to in the spirit oh my god Ooh. Holy Spirit. Okay, and for those of you that are just coming on, these are the scriptures that the Lord is, is, is wanting me to release to you tonight. It's Deuteronomy chapter 11, 14, where the Father is speaking. Then I will send rain on your land in its season, both autumn and spring rain, so that you may gather in your grain, new wine, and your oil. And really, it's olive oil, right? So the Lord is saying that his rain represents his fertilizer on your field in the soil. He knows how to cause the soil to become fertile ground. And this is a season that God is moving. He is moving mighty. Woo! He is moving mighty right now to literally fertilize the soil to cause you to have rich Soil that produces strong roots. Woo! Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we know that in the natural, yes, fertilizer is made up of manure. Manure, of poop. And it is. It's the stuff that we go through. The dirt that we go through. The horrible things that we go through. God takes it all. And he causes that to mature us and to cause us to grow and to cause us to bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. But I want you to hear this. What God is saying right now, what he's saying to me, he's going in a different direction. And he's saying, I'm literally causing the essence of who I am to make your soil fertile ground. I'm, I'm literally releasing my essence. If you could see me walking into your field in this season and releasing my essence, just like Jesus, Jesus was standing there and the woman of the issue with the issue of blood, she pressed through the crowd and she touched the hem of the Lord's garment. And he said, I, who touched me? I felt my virtue leave my body. What he's talking about is his essence. His nature, every part of who he is, his DNA, his blood, 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 DNA is in the blood. Oh, and I see the father and he's saying, I'm going to fertilize your field. I'm causing my essence, my essence, the DNA, the essence of who I am out of my blood that I'm going to fertilize your soil. Woo! Oh, the virtue, the virtue of who I am is going to bring you victory. The virtue of who I am, woo, the essence of who I am, my virtue is going to bring you victory in this season. Woo. My God. I hear this. I hear this. The Holy Spirit is highlighting the word virtue. The, oh my God. Here we go. We're just going to flow with the Holy Spirit. Listen to this. Listen to this. What does virtue mean? Listen. The virtue 
the virtue, the essence of the Father, out of his DNA, the blood is where the DNA is. That's why he says, out of my blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that covers a multitude of sins. The blood of Jesus that heals us. The blood of Jesus. Why is it the blood? Because it's his DNA that comes out of his blood. The DNA is out of the blood. And that is the nature and the essence of the Father. Woo! Oh my God, you're going to understand the blood of Jesus like never before. Because why did he say he shed his blood? It's in his blood. The power of his blood. Because in the blood is literally your DNA. It is the essence where the nature and your character and every part of who you are flows. Woo! Come on. Now listen to this. He says, virtue. My virtue, Jesus said, who touched me? I felt my virtue leave my body. Virtue is my goodness, righteousness. Woo! Jesus. Hey, Karaba, my worth, my purity, my nature, my essence. I felt my essence leave my body to heal the one with the issue of blood. Oh, God. I want you guys to grab a hold of what the Spirit of God is saying right now. Don't get religious. Don't try to focus on trying to quote and, and being politically correct. I break that assignment of the enemy right now. I want you to hear what the Holy Spirit saying to you. Receive. Just receive. I hear the Holy Spirit saying, even some of you on this live stream, you, 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 you love to pour out. You love to pour out. You're used to pouring out. But God is teaching you how to receive in this season. How to receive. How to receive. So that you can cleave to Him. And you're not going to be moved nor shaken. But you're going to learn how to receive. So you can cleave. Woo! You can cleave. You can cleave to Christ. You can cleave to Christ. It's through my blood that I cover a multitude of your sins. It's through my blood that I awaken you. It's through my blood. What is he saying? It is through my essence. It is through the DNA of who I am. It is through my nature of who I am. Out of my blood is my truth. My truth that begins to take root in the soil of your heart. It is my blood. Out of my blood, my DNA, my truth. My truth, my truth, my truth. And my truth is my nature. My truth is my character. My truth is my goodness. My blood releases my essence, my truth, my virtue, my righteousness, my justice. My faithfulness, my loyalty, my love, my selfless, sacrificial love. My nature begins to become cultivated within the soil of your heart. See, there are so many people that can shout out the blood of Jesus and not really know the depths of what the blood of Jesus really means. Not something that you just learn, oh, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. The body is coming to a deeper level of understanding the blood of Jesus. That when you say, I decree the blood of the Lamb, you are speaking of the DNA and the nature and the essence and the character and so much more of who the Father is that begins to take root. Oh my God. I come
come to prophesy tonight that the body of Christ, as the Lord is literally dealing with the foundation in the body of Christ, God is saying, when I decree my blood, there's coming realms and revelations of my blood that is hitting my body, that is going to pulsate and circulate through my body like never before in this hour. The revelation of my blood, the realms and the revelations of my blood. My people are not going to just so sporadically and randomly say I plead the blood or I decree the blood without knowing the essence and the power of what is coming out of their mouth because it's going to be cultivated in their hearts. <sighs> Isn't it interesting that the woman with the issue of blood, the issue of blood, Stop bleeding. When the blood of Jesus, the virtue of Jesus, the great I am, the creator, when his virtue, his nature, his essence, every part of who he is went into her, she stopped bleeding. Oh my God. Many of you are going to know the deep revelation of the blood of Jesus like never before in this hour. And you're not going to decree the blood of Jesus where they're empty words, but you are going to know the deep revelation and the, 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 the thick revelation, the glory of God that is so attached to the word, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Because too often, I hear the Father, He says, too often, so many people would speak of my blood and there was never the revelation of my blood in such a way that would manifest the power of my spirit. Because there was such a religious spirit that was literally robbing so many of the revelation of my blood. The blood of Jesus is the essence and the nature of the Father Himself, the Creator Himself. When you understand the essence of the great I Am, you dive into deep realms you discover the deepest treasures of his glory and his essence and how he created everything in the earth. My God, when you understand the blood, when you understand, when you decree the blood, you're decreeing the nature of the Father. You're decreeing that the nature of the Father is cultivating, is cultivating you. When you decree the blood of Jesus, you're decreeing that the essence of the Father is literally cultivating you in His kingdom. There is such a weight of His presence even right now as I'm speaking. As I'm speaking, as I feel the, the, the Holy Spirit so strong right now. He is opening the deep reservoir of the revelation of his blood like never before. I can see Jesus in the spiritual realm and he is opening up the deep reservoir of the revelation of his blood like never before. So many have been robbed of that revelation. And that is why the Lord said they speak from their lips, yet nothing comes from their heart because the revelation of my blood was never cultivated in the soil. It was just a learned behavior. Just something I just, I just know how to do because everybody else is saying I plead the blood. But do I really understand? 
what I'm saying. And this is why, this is why I see the Father literally walking into our fields and fertilizing our soil. He's fertilizing the soil. Father, I thank you. I thank you for so many sons and daughters who get to see and truly experience this encounter as they get to see you. They have eyes to see and ears to hear. And they get to see you as their Abba, as their daddy, their papa, stepping onto the soil and beginning to fertilize that soil like never before. So they have strong roots of your nature, your essence, your character that go so deep. They go so deep, they come right out of eternity. They come right out of the throne room. And that makes them so unmovable and unshakable and unstoppable in you. You're causing their soil to become fertile ground. Fertile ground. Bringing forth the life and the essence of your kingdom. <sighs> and this is what I want to say, and I'm going to get off of this live stream in just a little bit. But what I want to say to you is earlier the Lord showed me, he said, he said, I'm literally going into the soil. And he said, those seeds that didn't break open. Those areas where things didn't spring forth or break through the surface. He said, in this season, there will be growth. Where the previous season, there wasn't growth. Things did not develop and grow in that area. There was not a harvest that came forth in that area of your life. But he says, I'm going to cause this ground to be so fertile. That these seeds are going to break open from the words that I've spoken. And there shall come a harvest. And that harvest will be that you will grow and advance in this area of your life. You will develop. You will develop. You will grow and advance in that area where you struggled to grow in past seasons. I'm fertilizing your field. I'm fertilizing your soil. I'm giving you the rich nutrients that your soil needs so that this area where you've struggled to grow and develop, this is the season that you will grow and develop in this area. And I will give you the manifest evidence of the fruit that shall come forth. The fruit will come. You will not struggle in this area anymore because I'm fertilizing the soil. The areas where there, things did not sprout, things did not spring forth because it wasn't being watered, it wasn't being nurtured. This is the area where that soil was depleted. And the Lord says, soil that is depleted is where you've struggled and where you've been defeated. Because if my roots do not go deep in this area, the soil will not be fertile. So this is a season, I'm telling you, this goes right along with the word that I gave last night about the makeup, where the Lord said, you're going to go back into that classroom and I'm going to let you have the opportunity to make up for the assignment that you missed or the test that you might have failed. You're not a failure, but those areas where you failed, where things did not prevail, he says, this is where I'm going to allow you to make up for those things. This is where I'm going to fertilize the soil. I'm going to fertilize the soil. The enemy will not be able to spoil my purpose or my plan. Woo! So 
So see, that's what the Lord is saying. He said, oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit, have your way. He said, the past season, okay, where that assignment failed, he said, this season, he said, he said, my word shall prevail. My word shall prevail. We're in that past season, that assignment, right? Is where you experience that, that failure, where, where, where you, where those things failed, those things failed, those things failed. Woo! Have your way, Holy Spirit. I'm hearing so much right now, so I want to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Glory to your name. Holy, 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 holy. You're going to see the word of the Lord prevail. Where the enemy said you would fail. Okay, I'm going to prophesy this and decree this over you. You are going to see the word of the Lord prevail where the enemy lied to you and said you would fail. You're coming into a new season, but in this season, I'm telling you, the father's going to fertilize your soil and you're going to have strong roots and you're going to see the word of the Lord prevail where the enemy lied to you and said you would fail. You might have failed the assignment or that test. But God is letting you make up. He's, he's giving you a make up assignment and a make up test. To revitalize you. To renew you. To strengthen you. To fortify you. So there it is. So I want you guys to get excited. Get excited. Because the Father is fertilizing your soil. Oh my God. And his plans, oh Jesus, the enemy will not be able to spoil. But in this battle, you will gather the spoil. You will gather the spoils. You will gather. You will gather the spoils. All right, guys, that's what the Lord wanted me to prophesy tonight, to decree over you. And to just release this over you so that you would be saturated in his anointing, in his presence. That it would be so tangible over you, in your mind, in your heart. And that you would get excited. You would get so excited and you would get so spiritually ignited as you see the Father enter your field and begin to fertilize the soil. Woo! The word of God is going to prevail. Where the enemy lied to you and said you would fail. Nope. Nope. You're going to see the word of God prevail. Hallelujah. All right, guys. That's what the Lord wanted me to release. And I bless you. And I just seal these words with the blood of Jesus. And let me tell you, even after this live stream, the Lord is uh, uh, going to have me uh, go, go so deep, so deep about the blood of Jesus. This is a time where the Lord is birthing this powerful revelation. And so those of you who are my students at Abba's Athletes, get ready. There's going to be a lot that's going to be poured into you in this season like never before. If you are not one of my students and you want an opportunity to register, I can give you the link and you can absolutely register. There is a monthly membership for my school. It is my business. It is an online school to the nations and it is life changing to those who are ready to experience true breakthrough and spiritual growth and maturity. All right, guys, I love you. God bless you. Shalom.